Hi myself Jawaharlal, lecturer in electrical engineering. Today I will discuss about the classification of loco bogey. Now the classification of loco bogey, bogey are classified on the basis of number of axes, types of axial drives. So the type of axial drive and number of axles in a bogey is called the wheel arrangement. So according to the wheel arrangements, the bogies are classified as B type, bow type and co type bogies. In B type buggy, in B type buggy, two axes per buggy. There are two axes per buggy. Axles mechanically coupled and driven by a one motor. But in bow type buggy, two axis per buggy, here is also two axis per buggy, but, but the axis independently driven by individual motors. In in axis there is a motor. And in co type buggy, three axis per buggy, axis independently driven by individual motors. So all in three buggy uh, axis, there is a individual motors and that I drive, drive in the individual axis and wheels. Now, wheel arrangement of the locomotive is designed as BB, Bobo and co -type. So, you next, you see the uh, loco engine, the locomotives. In BB type, we have used the WAG1 and WAG4. In Bobo type, we use WAP5. In Coco type, we use WAM4, WAP1, WAP4, WAP7, WAG5, WAG6, C, WAG7, WAG9. Now in Bobo type, WAG6A and WAG6B. Now next we we'll go to the details of BB type, uh, Bobo type and Coco type buggy. This type of buggy has two axes per buggy and the axis mechanically coupled and driven by one motor. There is a single motor. BB is the indication of wheel arrangements for railway vehicles with two axes in two individual buggies. B and B, that there are two buggies and each buggy is driven by one traction motor. The structure of buggy is based on a welded edge frame supported on both axles by primary coil spring suspension. Hydraulic shocks absorbers provide a connection between the axle box and the buggy frame. A hemispherical support plate and two side plates provide the connection between the buggy frame and the locomotive frame. The lower part of the support is located in order to limit the effects of cabbing, which can lead to loss of adhesion when taking off heavy loads. A version of this buggy with a high center plate is also available. Now you see the next um, slide. With a wheel base of 2.5 meter guaranteeing very good stability up to 100 km per hour. The buggy is available in carriers or engine version with several types of possible transmissions. So you see here the all are written. This is the BB type buggy. This is the Mechanic coupled, this is the spring uh, suspension, primary suspension, this is the secondary suspension and the motor is, and the motor is uh, mounted in between. So single motor drives the two axles and also you can say the single motor drives the four wheels here. Here not the individual motors connected, here the single motors drives the uh, here the single motors you placed and this drive the two uh, four wheels or you can say the two axes 
second is a bobo type this type of buggy has two axis per buggy and axis individually driven by individual motor bobo is the indication of wheel arrangement for railway vehicle with four axis in two individual buggies all driven by their own traction motors it is a common wheel arrangement of for modern electric and diesel electric locomotive as well as power cars in electric multiple units so most early electric motors shared commonalities with steam engines of their time these features included side rods and frame mounted driving axis with leading and tailing axis the long rigid wheel base and leading and trailing axis reduced cornering stability and increased weight the bobo configuration allowed for higher cornering speeds due to the smaller rigid wheel base this is the uh, features or advantage of the bobo type bug now again You see, furthermore, it allows better adhesion because all the wheels were now powered. Here, due to the absence of frame-mounted wheels, no leading and tailing axis were necessary to add cornering, reducing weight and maintenance requirements. Due to the advent of modern motors and electronic power, more power can be brought to the rail with. only a few axles so the first main line diesel electric motive were a bobo arrangement so you see here the bobo type uh, buggy you see this is the uh, traction motor which is gear, and this is the gear box now the pinion of traction motors is coupled with the uh, mechanically coupled with the gear box gears and this is the axle soft now this is the wheel this is the secondary suspension spring now here is the primary suspension spring here the primary suspension and and this is the shock observer also called this is the shock observer now axle box wheel bearing here is the axle box wheel bearing buggy frame and this is the traction motor so this is the uh, all about the uh, uh, bobo type buggy here you see the one individual the uh, motor is mounted on the uh, uh, independent axles and the motor drives the individual axle here also the motor is mounted in this and uh, in uh, this uh, uh, wheel axle set and this is the another wheel axle set so this is the difference between the bb type and bobo type in bobo bb type the motor one single motor is placed in between and uh, the single motor drives the two wheel axle sets but in bobo types individual motors drive the two uh indoor uh, motors drive the uh, independent uh, axles and hence the uh, wheels now the in the next you see coco type buggy this type of buggy have three axles per buggy and axles independently driven by individual motors coco is the wheel arrangement for diesel and electric locomotives with a two wheel two six uh, wheeled buggy with all axle powered uh, with a separate traction motor per axle cocos are most suited to freight work as the extra wheels give them good traction they are also popular because the greater number of axles result in a lower axle load of the to the track the center pivot carries 60% of the vertical load receives and transmits tractive and braking process the other 40% of the vertical load is taken by the side bearers the buggy frame is supported by four sets of double equalizers extending from the end axles to the center 
axis. Here you see, this is the buggy frame of a coco type buggy. Here, the difference between bobo type and coco type. In bobo type, only uh, two wheel sets are arranged in a buggy and usual motors drive the each uh, wheel sets. But in coco type buggy, there is a three wheel sets. One in middle, two and is, this is the three. Three wheel sets are arranged in the coco type buggy, buggy and individual motors are uh, connected to the, each wheel sets mechanically coupled and they drive the individual wheel set. Here you see this is the equalizer beam that equalize the load and this is the central pipe hood. This is the side bearer. I see the 60% load it uh, transferred by the central pipe hood. And this is the buggy frame. And this is the primary suspension spring. So these are the all about the loco uh, classification of loco buggy. For the uh, next video, please and please subscribe my channel for the next video that why I will uh, present you the next video on the uh, in the field of electrical engineering. Thank you.